Welcome. My name is Ray Klein. I'm a certified master inspector and instructor here at InterNACHI in Boulder, Colorado. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about some safety tips that are related to inspecting the circuit breaker panel of the house. What I want to do is also show you a few pieces of equipment that you can use to increase your safety. The first thing you want to do is set up your stop caution sign back from your circuit breaker panel about 8 to 10 feet and make sure your client stays behind that caution sign. That way they're out of reach of any kind of flashing or arcing that might come out of the panel. The next thing is safety glasses. This is for the inspector. If your prescription glasses are safety rated, you can just leave those on. But it's highly recommended that you use a pair of safety glasses before you attempt to get into the panel. The next thing is gloves. You can use a typical pair of leather, nice good quality leather gloves, or in my case, I like to do the nitrile gloves. They're non-conductive, but the one thing you want to do is make sure when you put them on, before you get to the panel, is you want to check them for holes or rips, on the fingertips especially. So I just take a quick look at them, all right? Now this makes it easier to take the screws out of the panel cover. But one other thing I'm going to do first before I decide to do that, if you're using infrared with your inspections, this is a great tool to use for the inspection on the electrical panel. The first thing I do is turn it on, and now I'm going to do a quick scan with the cover on the panel, and I'm just going to go down from the top to the bottom to see if I have any hot breakers, overloads, and you might see this one bright yellow spot down at the bottom right there. That's an arc fault breaker. Typically arc fault breakers and GFCI breakers will operate at 10 to 12 degrees warmer than the surrounding ambient temperature of the rest of the breakers. Don't be concerned about that. That's just because they have internal electronics that are constantly monitoring those circuits. So I'm going to set my camera down and I'm going to go ahead and pull off this panel cover. I've got these screws already loose. Okay, set that off to the side. Keep remembering that electricity likes to flow back to its source through the neutral wire. In the standards of practice, you don't have to stick anything in here. You don't have to put your hands in there. You don't have to put any kind of devices in there. This is strictly a visual inspection of the circuit breaker panel. However, if you, from time to time, you may get into a real busy panel where it's full of wires and you can't see something in the back that you want to take a closer look at. The one thing I've done is I've fashioned my own little tool. I've got a 12 inch long, half inch thick wooden dowel that I can use to just push wires one side to the other so I can see behind. And I would not move these wires more than a half an inch of travel either way. Always, when you're in around the panel, keep one hand behind you because electricity flows, again, like I say, from the, the hot energized wires through your body. If I had my hand on a ground wire or a neutral, that, that circuit would run through my body. I want to restrict that totally. So what I want to do is just use one hand. If I have to, I can use my little dowel, move some wires around. But now I'm going to just do a typical visual inspection. Again, I'm going to go ahead and bring my FLIR camera back in. I'm going to do another scan. I've got some warm lugs at the top. We get down to the bottom. There's my arc fault breaker right there. I'm not seeing anything concerning in here. Everything seems pretty normal. And then from that point, you want to go ahead and just conduct the rest of your inspection on the circuit breaker panel. Check your wire gauge sizes versus the rating on the circuit breakers. But just make sure that when you're looking at this, keep it simple. Keep your hands out of there. And if you have to use something to push around in there, make sure it's non-conductive. And keep one hand behind your back or away from your body. That concludes our quick inspection tip of the day. We'll see you next time.